Calcium carbonate, the main component of marble chips, reacts with hydrochloric acid according to the equation shown. The aim of this experiment is to find the order of reaction with respect to hydrochloric acid. The volume of carbon dioxide given off is measured at timed intervals. This data will be converted to allow a concentration time graph to be plotted. The order of reaction with respect to HCl will be determined by inspecting the half-lifes. Place about 10 grams of marble chips in a boiling tube. Check that the apparatus has no leaks. Draw some air into the gas syringe and connect it to the boiling tube. Ping the plunger. It should feel springy and return quickly to the original position. If you are happy the apparatus is airtight, take out the bung and push the plunger back in. Pour 10 cm cube of HCl into a measuring cylinder. Measure the initial temperature of the acid. Check that the plunger is pushed in fully. Pour the acid onto the marble chips in the boiling tube. Allow the solution to become saturated with carbon dioxide for about 10 seconds before collecting the gas. Start the timer at the point the gas syringe is connected. Record the volume of gas collected at 10 second intervals. Make sure there are several readings the same before stopping. Record the final temperature of the reaction mixture. Repeat the experiment at least once more. To find the order reaction with respect to HCO, we should plot a graph to show the change in concentration of HCO over time. However, the concentration of HCO has not been measured in this experiment but the volume of carbon dioxide produced over time has been found instead. We can relate the gas volumes to the instantaneous HCl concentration. For a given volume of hydrochloric acid used, the higher the HCl concentration, the more moles of HCl there are, and the greater the volume of carbon dioxide will be produced. V final. The steady reading at the end of the experiment depends upon the starting concentration of the HCl as a fixed volume of acid is used. Vt is the volume of carbon dioxide produced by the amount of acid used up at time t. V final minus Vt is the volume of carbon dioxide still to be produced by the HCl yet unreacted so it is proportional to the instantaneous concentration of HCl at time t. Plotting a graph of V final minus Vt against time t is therefore equivalent to plotting a graph of concentration of HCl against time. Inspect the shape of the graph of V final minus Vt on the y-axis 
against time t on the x-axis. If the graph is a straight line with a negative gradient, the rate of reaction given by the gradient is constant. This means changing the HCl concentration has no impact on the rate of reaction. So the order of reaction with respect to HCl must be zero. If the graph is a curve, the half-lives should be inspected. If the half-lives are constant, the reaction is first order with respect to HCl. A second order reaction has increasing half-lives. If you cannot carry out the experiment in class, you can collect data to process from the following experiment. Have a stopwatch ready and pen and paper to record the volume readings. You may find it easier to work with someone, so one person keeps an eye on the gas volume, whilst the other calls out the time. Acid is added to the marble chips. Get ready to start timing and recording the gas volume. 